Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back. Today on Brick Mania TV, Cody is with me and his all new Mustang. Mustang, all new Mustang. I really appreciated that very normal intro. It was a very normal intro. We definitely <laughs> didn't mess up a whole bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. Okay. This is a P51D Mustang. Cool. Last year we did the P51B Mustang. This year we're doing the P51D Mustang. This go. is 2019 version. Nice. Because last year we were focusing more on 1943. This year we're focusing more on 1944. As you can see by the awesome invasion stripes. See. So this is definitely the more iconic version of the Mustang. This is the one you always see flying around, even currently. And if you go to an air show, and sometimes they even have an elongated um, cockpit to seat two. Cool. They'd have a trainer version also. So we went with the blue nose version. We've done that before, but this blue new blue nose version has invasion stripes, which yes. is the first for us, um, as far as I know. Invasion stripes, brick bolt yeah. invasion stripes, I believe is the first. Because uh, we're doing D-Day. Yes. That's coming up. The yeah, anniversary I don't know if you knew that. They were focusing on 1944 this year. Mm -hmm. D-Day. It's the best year. <laughs> your is that your favorite era kind of that we've been working on? Favorite era, favorite airplane. Favorite airplane. This is Cody's favorite airplane. That's yeah, cool. Absolutely. I did not favorite. know that. Yeah. Man. Mustang. Right on. Some, some might say it's the Corsair, but no, it's not. It's actually, it's actually the Mustang. The Mustang. <laughs> So, yeah, this is, uh, this is my take on the Mustang. Okay. Uh, so, some differences between the B model and the D model. Obviously, the bubble canopy is one of the major differences. They did have the same engine, a Merlin engine, Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. Top speed of 440 miles an hour and six 50 caliber machine guns. Another difference between the B and the D model. Um, B model had four 50 calibers, this has six. Mm -hmm. So, a little more firepower, maybe a little faster, maybe. And bubble canopy so you can see around behind you. There we go. Razorback kind of hinders that a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first initial D models didn't have, there's a little dorsal fin added here onto the main stabilizer. And I excluded that from this model because it's early 1944. I didn't see a lot of them having that. That was an add-on later and some were even added onto the older models, the oh, B models. So they kind of phase that in throughout the year. Yeah, and then eventually they worked it into their initial production models. As they came off the line, they had um, that dorsal fin. And that helped fix their yaw. They, the ten yaw. they tended to have some issues with their yaw, wiggling back and forth a little back bit. Back and forth, so it's kind of just this way like that, mm -hmm. right? So initially it was developed as a request from the British to have a long-range escort fighter to escort B-17 bombers. Uh, B-17 bombers? Who's, has anyone made that? Uh, maybe. What? <laughs> yes. Yes. Someone has made that. <laughs> uh, That's what we were alluding to with that. Yeah. Now you have something to escort that B-17. Full circle. Heck yeah. Nice. Full circle on D-Day. Very cool. Blue Nose. Blue Nose again. Uh, going back to that. Blue Nose Bastards of Budney. Whoa. That's cool. That's cool. That's what it's based on? That's what it's based on. A nice side there. That they're very prominent throughout yeah. the years of the war. Blue nose is cool. It's nice to add some color, especially with the invasion stripes. Breaks it up a little bit. Yeah. And so uh, the purpose of the invasion stripes. Uh, so they don't get shot by their own <laughs> right. anti-aircraft guns. Um, the Germans did the same sort of thing, but they had yellow, uh, yellow noses or yellow underneath um, on the wingtips under the engine. We just did full-on invasion stripes. Looks cool. It's very obvious, but it looks cool. Yeah. And once uh, you've established air superiority, it doesn't really matter if you right, get right. seen, you know? <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. Safety. Safety. Uh, yeah. So we have uh, some cool stickers, some cool printed parts, um, nice bubble canopy. It doesn't retract, unfortunately. So the real one would have, would have slid back? Yeah, would have slid split, back. Split in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So I did that uh, one time. I did that on the F-86 mm -hmm. Sabre. I was able to make it slide back. But with this being a, a more narrow fuselage, it's not quite four bricks mm -hmm. wide. It's about three and a half. Uh, and this canopy I found 
is a good fit for that because it's only four wide at the widest point. Otherwise, I got, the shape of that, that teardrop kind of incorporates it better into that more narrow fuselage. Right, so, that, so I understand that canopies are one of the most difficult oh, yeah. parts of, the, of an airplane aircraft build. Absolutely, and then uh, keeping something in production too. I mean, we're putting up a bunch of these online. We, yeah. we intend it to be restocked frequently. So you have a cost-effective and acquirable option. Right. So that's so what might, There might to. be occasionally a, uh, like a canvas or a cockpit cover that might have a closer shape, but maybe it's a bit too wide. Yep, a bit too wide, too long. Just or you, just, or you just can't even get a, get a hold of right. like a quantity of them. So it's like yeah. you could put it in the kit, but you could only make like five kits, you know, at a reasonable price. Or right. even even at the price, that might might not even be reasonable, you know. Yeah. So, so that's that's what we do. I mean, you have to keep things in production, so you have to make compromises. But honestly, I like that. Yeah, I think it's a great canopy. Cool. I think it works out, um, especially with the bubble yeah. aspect of how that canopy looks. Um, some minor internal details, there is a, a headrest. <laughs> Open that up. Nice little headrest in there. But that's about it for internal details. But it is cool to see. I don't know if I've seen a headrest. Oh no, I guess we've had done headrests before, but. Yeah. I know. But it's kind of a cool detail. It's fun. I, I enjoyed that. I also enjoyed the challenge of making uh, the invasion stripes, especially going backwards when you have vertical stripes and you need structure going back. Ah, right. You need some creative. So there's some internal there's some internal structures going on there to, mm -hmm. to keep that going. Yep. Nice. So that was fun. I overall I think it's uh, going to be a pretty fun build. Do have retracting landing gear. Some cool printed and stickered elements on the bottom. So I see a printed boat stud boat printed, tile. Printed boat stud. Boat stud. Oh, yeah. Right there and there. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if we've we haven't done that before. No, it's cool. uh, we've printed on both yeah, sides before, right. but for but roundels more so. This is more just to add structure and to accomplish a look of, you know, it keeping that black nice. stripe going on the way down. And then you got a sticker right here to kind of keep those lines going. So mm -hmm. nice. And then this also, so this is pretty much just modified straight from the B model I had last year. If you guys remember, how I made this tail gear retract. You just bend it up a little bit and stick it down in between that space, and it's gone. Wow. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. That's fun. So yeah, mostly um, very similar to the B model that I had last year. Obviously, not the B model. There you go. And as you can see, the stripes on the bottom are completed. So it's entirely wrap around top and bottom. Yeah. Um, helped a little bit with the stickers. Uh, and it could have been brick built in there, but I didn't like having the wings be more fat going all the way sure. down, there's a, an, element, an element of having a taper to that wing right. that I like to retain as much as possible, especially looking at the front of it. Yes. Yeah, so th again, that's kind of finding that balance, like how much do you want to, uh, how fat do you want the wings versus how mm -hmm. you know, so much detail you can add with, with brick. So. If, if you're not crazy about that sticker, it's very easy. To it's just, a pretty straightforward just, modification. Just a couple plates on there. It's yeah. very simple. It's very straightforward. Uh, spring propeller actually came up with a new design for a propeller. Oh. It's actually bouncing off of a design technique that you claim it was your idea. And everyone else has to get <laughs> it. Else. No, I don't care. <laughs> but it's cool. It, uh, it's useful to have that in it. That we can have an entirely blue nose, nothing weird sticking out of it. Um, and the propellers, I think, make a nice seamless transition into that. So that's fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice, sleek airplane all around. So Thanks. it's it's cool that you got uh, those invasion stripes built into that uh, structure. So yeah, I mean, you could have built this all one color, fairly straightforward. But mm -hmm. it's cool that you got this built into it. So and maybe in the future we do make some different colored versions. Maybe we bring the red tails back. They're Ooh, very popular. Yeah, totally. There's, there's so many different color schemes you can accomplish right on. <laughs> on the Mustang, so we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, pretty straightforward uh, minifigure that comes with this kit as well. Uh, printed, custom printed torso, front and back. You get that uh, parachute harness and you get the that life, that inflatable life preserver underneath of that. And then just a standard guy. Um, yeah. American pilot. American You've pilot. seen him before. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, that's cool. And oh, oh swooshable by the way. Swooshable. Yeah. Checking it out. Mm. Check it out. Picking it up at the, the right at the end of that wing there. That's cool. Classic. Very nice. Thank you. 
Anything else, Cody? I don't think so. I think no. that pretty much sums it up. That sums it up. Cool. For more information, please check out brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell. Bam. That is it. Nice. Thumbs up, I guess. I don't know. What are we supposed to do with this spot? We just walk off camera as he fades the noise off. And... Oh. Oh. Okay. You do Yoda. I'll, do, I'll be Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania T. Whoa. Wait, why, why, why? Why? 2019 Mustang. Last year we did the B model. This year we're doing the D model. Why is camera guy snickering? Stop it. <laughs> welcome back to. Well, <laughs> you want me to say Welcome, it. Back. Brick Maniacs, uh, to. Wait, oh, okay. <laughs> They're going to want the D model. Yeah. Welcome. Me? <laughs> yes. I said it, you can't take it back because that was that was live. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of Brick Mania Theatre. Theatre. Yeah, proper this is how you properly hold a okay. Mustang. Pinky's out. We're, we're, we're gonna do this now, for real. Alright. So last year I understand that we did the B model. This year, this is the D model, correct? Correct. Correct. <laughs> you're, not, you're like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and apparently we can't use letters now.